The next interesting topic that we are going to do is reported speech. Now what is this reported speech? <clears throat> we have direct speech and indirect speech. This indirect speech only is called the reported speech. Okay. So it's nothing very uh, uh, difficult. Like if I ask one of you a question. Um, what did you have for breakfast today? And then you say something. I had idlis for breakfast. That is direct speech. Now if I ask another student to say what did um, Ram say or what did uh, Sheena say? Then he will say, he or she will say, Sheena said that she had idlis for breakfast. So that is reported speech. Okay, do you understand? So she, um, that is this second person reported what the first person spoke. Okay, now for example, if we have A and B, I ask A, what is your favorite color? And you say, my favorite color is blue. And if I ask B, okay, tell me what A uh, spoke just now. And B says, A said that her favorite color is blue. Now, why did I say is blue is? Uh, she asked, what is your, fa I asked, what is your favorite color? <coughs> And she said, my favorite color is blue. So even when you report, if the reporting verb is in the present tense, you have to use the same thing. So we are going to learn a lot of rules and regulations for changing direct speech into reported speech. Shall we go ahead? Okay, this what we are going to do is reported speech. So we are going to do the reported speech which is nothing else but indirect speech. I will just write for your reference reported speech is indirect speech. You should not get um, mixed up. You should not think that reported speech is different and indirect speech is different. Both are one and the same. Indirect speech is reporting what somebody else has spoken. Uh, we may report the words of a speaker in two ways. We may quote his actual words. Okay, This is called the direct speech. That is when we say uh, Shakespeare said and we put quotation marks and we write the actual words. This is direct speech. We may report what he said without quoting the exact words. This is called reported speech or indirect speech. Okay. So, uh, this is the, uh, this is a fact about direct and indirect speech. Now, if I say, um, okay, for example, Ritu said I am very busy now. I am enclosing it with an inverted commas. And what speech is this? I have quoted the exact words what Ritu said. So, this is direct speech. Now, how do I report this? Now, if you see, here the verb is in the past tense, that is Ritu said, but here I am very busy now. Okay? 
So how are we going to change two different verbs into the reported speech? We'll say always we have to take the verb before the actual words that is before the quote whichever verb is there only that tense only we have to take okay so i'll just write ritu said that now i stands for whom i stands for ritu ritu said that she i am will become she was very busy now will become then so this is reported speech do you understand now how i have reported what uh, ritu has said ritu said I am very busy now but when we report we have to check to the tense of the verb before the quote and then use the same tense throughout Ritu said that she was very busy now will become then okay <clears throat> now it will be noticed that in direct speech we use inverted commas to mark off the Uh, act or uh, actual or exact words of the speaker in the indirect uh, speech we do not because we are not quoting the exact words actually what is the exact words uh, spoken by ritu i am very busy now we can't say that when we report we have to say she said that she was very busy then so we do not use the quotes or quotation marks when we use the quotation marks it should be the exact words or the actual words what the speaker had said it will be further noticed that in changing the above direct speech into indirect or uh, reported speech certain changes have been uh, done or made thus we have used a conjunction that before the indirect speech what have we used we have used that ritu said that and then i became she isn't it okay we have used first changes we have used that the person is changed to he or she that is the pronoun is changed to the um changed in person okay so i has become she according to who the speaker is we have changed it so the second point is the pronoun is changed okay i'll write here rose first one the conjunction that has been added or has been included the second step is the pronoun has changed has changed according to the speaker who is the speaker here ritu is a speaker ritu is a girl and so accordingly we have changed um, the pronoun she okay the next step the verb am is changed to was that is am has been changed to was why because the verb before the quote is past tense so everything should be changed to past tense so from present tense simple present tense we have changed it to simple past so the third step the verb 
uh, am is changed to to was that is from present tense to past tense okay next what is the next change that we have done now has become then the last uh, change is the adverb now was changed to then change to then okay now I just gave you an example and I have given you the rules to be followed for changing and the steps involved in changing direct or direct speech into reported speech or indirect speech. Ritu said I am very busy now has changed to Ritu said that she was very busy then. So what are the changes? The conjunction that has been included, the pronoun has been changed has been changed according to the speaker that is Ritu so I has become she. The verb am is changed to was that is from present tense to past tense because the reporting verb is in the past tense so we change uh, present tense into past tense here. In case I have said Ritu says uh, if I have written for a, just for a change in just sorry. Ritu says I am very busy now. How will you change this? Ritu says that she is very busy then. Okay. So these are the changes that will occur if the reporting verb is in the present tense. Is that clear? Okay. Now we are going to have uh, certain rules to be followed for each kind of a sentence. Is that clear? Now read the rules now and for each type of sentence that is commands, requests, um, interrogative sentence, everything there are certain rules to be followed. So we are going to see everything and towards the end I will give you a test. Okay, now I am going to teach you the rules. Rules for changing direct speech into reported speech. Okay, when changing the direct into indirect or reported speech, certain grammatical changes have to be made. The following rules will make the uh, whole thing clear. Okay, rules. rules to be followed we just saw one example but we are going to see in different aspects how it will be uh, changed okay rules to be followed while changing direct speech to reported speech Okay. First one, the present tense in the reported speech must be changed to uh, the corresponding past tense if the reporting verb is in the past tense. Okay, the first rule.
in the direct speech is changed to the corresponding past tense if the reporting verb that is the reporting verb means the verb which is outside the inverted commas I told you like said, says, all that. Is in the past tense. Okay, this is the first rule. For example, um, if I say uh, Rama said I shall surely come. for the party. Now look at the disparity in the uh, tenses. Here it is past tense and here it is future tense. But when you change, what happens? What is the first rule? The present tense in the direct speech is changed into present or future tense is changed to corresponding past tense if the reporting verb is in the past this is past so you have to change it like this Rama said and we have to add that I becomes he because Rama is a boy and uh, it is a singular um, person so, Rama said that he shall surely for the party. Okay? He said that he He shall surely come for the party. Okay. If I say, um, if I say, uh, will, I will surely come for the party, that he would becomes, will becomes, would. Here, okay. Rama said, I will surely come for the party. Rama said that he would come. Look at the change now. That he would surely come for the party. Is that clear? Okay, next point is. Um, okay, As the same way a simple present tense becomes simple past or present continuous present continuous I will be writing for example I will just give another example if you have ok if you have uh, present continuous it becomes past continuous if you have future continuous it becomes future continuous past continuous ok anything present will become past so if it is Present continuous, it becomes past continuous. If it is present perfect, it becomes past perfect. I will give three examples for that. 
Okay. So, one is simple present tense. Um, this is okay. This is past plus future. I will surely come for the party. So, will became past. Next one. Shyam said I will be I will be studying for the test when you come. Shyam said, I will be studying for the test when you come. How do we change this? Shyam said that I becomes he, he will becomes would be studying for the test when you becomes he that is he is talking to his friend when he Shyam said that he would be studying for the test when he comes ok Next one, perfect tense. The little girl said, the little um, boy said, okay, the little boy said, I have eaten the porridge. in the bowl now what tense is this this is perfect tense present perfect now let's see what happens because this reporting verb is in the past the little boy said that I becomes he, he had. Now have becomes had. How will become becomes would have becomes had. That he had eaten the porridge in the bowl. Okay, so I have given you future tense, I have given you perfect tense. I will give you one simple present also. The teacher said, I am going to give you a test I am going to give you a test now so this is in the past tense so we change this also into the past tense the teacher said that I becomes she. She and becomes was. So the simple present tense becomes.
past tense. Am becomes was. That she was going to give a test. Now becomes then. Okay. Am has become was. Now see uh, just now. Rama said I will surely come for the party. Rama said that he would surely come for the party. So even future tense has become past tense here because the reporting verb is in the past tense. Next one. Shyam said I will be studying for the test when you come. This also is future tense. Shyam said that he would be studying for the test when he, uh, when he came. We can change that also into past tense. Okay. Next one. The little boy said, I have eaten the porridge in the bowl. Have is perfect tense. And uh, because this is in the past, we have to change that also into past. The little boy said that he had eaten the porridge in the bowl. And this is simple uh, present tense that I am using here. The teacher said this is past. So we have to change this simple present tense into past. The teacher said I am going to give you a test now. The teacher said that she was going to give uh, you. You becomes them. Okay, the teacher must be talking to the class. So, you stands both for singular as well as plural second person pronoun, isn't it? So, I am going to give you, you becomes them. That she was going to give them a test then. Now has become then. Okay, this is rule number one. Have you uh, got it clear now? Just take down the sentences. We will move on to the next rule. Okay, the next rule is if the tense in the reported, if the reporting verb is in the present tense, then the tense will not change in the uh, reported speech. Okay. For example, this is, uh, this is rule number one, uh, two. One we have seen already, this is two. If the verb, uh, okay, I'll just say reporting verb. If the reporting verb is in the present tense, Then the verb, then the tense does not change change in the reported speech. Okay, example. The old man says Okay, um, they are they are treating me well
the old man says they are treating me well okay they can say maybe it's uh, about the doctors or about uh, his uh, people at home who are treating him well how do we change this now what tense is this verb it's in the present tense so here we are not going to change the tense the old man says that they are treating me me stands for the old man isn't it that they are treating him well okay see the verb is just the same because this is in the present tense is that clear i'll give you some more examples for that the the student said the students um say we are happy the students say that we becomes they they are happy that they are okay we we'll happy to be in the new class the students say that they are happy to be in the new class okay if you see the verb here say say so this is uh, what is what tense is the simple present tense and here also it's the same tense so if this reporting verb is in the simple present tense or if it's in the present tense then the verb here in the uh, direct speech that is the court within the court will not change it will remain the same the reporting if the reporting verb is in the present tense then the tense does not change in the reported speech one more example one or two more i'll give you um the teach okay teacher we were the manager tells his work his uh, assistants we are going to make huge profits the manager tells his assistants we are going to make huge profits purposely i wrote tells because um, say or tell anything we can say okay the manager tells his assistants that we becomes they the only changes that occur 
uh, if both the tense, if it is in the present tense, it will not change, the tense will not change, but the other changes will be the pronoun, okay, that is he, she, it, all that. Uh, that we becomes that they are, I am using the same verb, going to make huge profits. Okay, so tells I have used the same thing. We are is just used the same way. Are going, are going. So there is no change at all. So this is rule number two. If the reporting verb is in in the present tense, then the reported speech also in the reported speech also the verb and the tense will not change. It just uh, be, uh, it is written or said in the same tense, okay, there is no change at all. If at all there are any changes, it is only in the pronoun where that is very, very essential, but the tense will not change. So, this is rule number 2. If the reporting verb is in the present tense, then the tense does not change in the reported speech. So, you remember that always when you report a speech given, you have to check whether it is in the past tense or present tense. Okay? So, this is very very important. So, this rule number 2. Rule number 3 now. <clears throat> what is rule number 3? If the reporting verb is in the past tense and the speech that is the words spoken are something like a universal truth, then the tense will not change. Okay? This is rule number 3. I will just give you examples. If the reporting is in the past tense and the speak that is and the uh, words in the words spoken or words in the Okay, words spoken are a universal fact, then the tense does not change. Okay, this is the third rule. If the reporting verb is in the past tense, but the words spoken uh, are a universal fact, then the tense does not change. Shall we see the examples? The teacher explained The earth revolves round the sun. Here, if you see the verb here, explained, what tense is that? It is a past tense. The teacher explained. The earth revolves round the sun. If I uh, follow rule number one, 
If this is in the past tense, we have to change it into uh, change this tense also into past tense. It may not be right because under rule number 3, we have to check whether the words spoken are a universal fact or not. The earth revolves around the sun. Can we say the, the earth revolved around the sun and now as though it is not? No, it is a universal fact which will never never change. So what, what happens? The earth revolves around the sun is a universal fact and so we have to use the same tense here but the past tense here. Okay, I will ch change it for you. The teacher explained that the earth revolves, see I have used the same tense because this is a universal fact, it cannot be changed, revolves round the sun. Same way, I will give another example. William told his son or William said to his son the sun rises in the east okay now William what is William telling his uh, what did he tell his son the sun rises in the east will the uh, will the sun ever rise in the west or will the uh, will the sun ever rise in the south or north no it is not that the sun is rising but due to the uh, rotation of the earth it looks as though the sun is rising and sun is setting but only in the eastern direction the sun will rise okay so this is a universal fact so we change we do not change the tense in that sentence William said to his son that you can even Said to can be changed as told, told his son that the sun rises in the east. William told his son that the sun rises in the east. This sun is different from that sun because this is a universal fact. We have the same tense being used here. Rises, rises. Okay, one more example I will give you before I finish this. The little girl exclaimed milk is white in color okay now milk is white in color can we ever change the color of milk can we ever change milk into blue? Milk is milk. Milk will always be white in color. So that's a universal fact. Okay. So here though it is exclaimed, I just change, uh, I do not change 
uh, the tense in this sentence and I'm going to write it this way. The little girl exclaimed that milk is white in color. Okay, milk is white in color. See, I've used the same tense here because these are all universal facts. Okay, one last I'll give you. The blind man Blind man um, that is I'm talking about how a blind boy or blind man touches and uh, realizes uh, what size each animal is okay the blind man said elephant is the biggest animal in the world or biggest land animal Actually, we used to have uh, huge sharks and whales, uh, but they have all become extinct. Even uh, we had mammoths. Mammoths are huge elephants with big tuskers, wild elephants. But still, elephant gets the pride and position of being the biggest animal in the world. So, the blind man said, Elephant is the biggest land animal in the world. So how do we change this? Though it is said, the blind man, we can even say exclaimed or said that elephant is the biggest land animal in the world. Okay. So just check, let's check it up. If the reporting verb is in the past tense, and the words spoken are a universal fact, then the tense does not change. The teacher exclaimed, explained, the earth revolves around the sun. The teacher explained that the earth revolves around the sun. We do not change the tense here. William said to his son, the sun rises in the east. William told his son that the sun rises in the east. The little girl exclaimed, milk is white in color. The little girl The little girl exclaimed that milk is white in color. The blind man said, Elephant is the biggest land animal in the world. So, the blind man said that elephant is, again we haven't changed the tense here, is the biggest land animal in the world. So, this is rule number three. If it's a universal fact, we do not change the tense. Okay. So, three rules we have learned. And the fourth rule will be, how to express nearness or nearness of things or how to express the days 
in a week when uh, when it's told in the direct speech how it becomes uh, what it becomes in the indirect speech okay the next rule is words expressing nearness in time or place will be converted or will be changed into uh, words expressing distance okay this is the next rule this is rule number 4 words expressing nearness in time and place in time or place is changed to words expressing distance Okay, now let's see how this is changed. That is uh, direct speech. Or I'll just say reported speech. We have already done one word that is now became then. Now becomes then. Here becomes there. Ago becomes Ago becomes before. For example, uh, three years ago. If we say in the reported speech, it becomes three years before. Thus becomes so. Okay. And here again, days I will write. And today becomes today becomes that day. Tomorrow becomes becomes the next day. Are you taking down all this? I have just written shortened forms. Okay, I will make it bigger. Okay, yesterday becomes The day before. And last night becomes the night before. You have to remember this rule very very uh, fervently because you have unless you know this you will be tempted to write like today becomes that day like tomorrow becomes the next day all this you have to drill it into your mind okay once again i'll just check it up and i'll let you know words expressing nearness in time or place is changed to words expressing distance in um, 
reported speech. Okay. First one, direct speech now becomes then in reported sp uh, speech that we already saw. Now I'll give you a sentence for this. Here becomes there. Uh, the mother said to the child, come here. The mother uh, told the child to come there. Ago uh, becomes before. So I told you three years ago becomes three years before. It, uh, they, it was thus said. It was so told or so said. Today, that is if, uh, if I say uh, we have a meeting today. He said that they had a meeting that day. Tomorrow becomes the next day, yesterday becomes the day before and last night becomes the night before. Once again, today becomes that day, tomorrow becomes the next day, yesterday becomes the night, day before and last night becomes the night before. So you have to remember these rules, four rules very, very intently you have to Follow these rules to convert direct speech to reported speech. Now I am going to teach you how to change. Now it will be easy for uh, that you have learnt the rules. How to change commands, statements, interrogative sentences, exclamatory sentences all that we are going to see next.